Good morning. Thanks so much for joining us. It's a new year with a new city council down at Boston City Hall, and we continue our custom here of introducing you to the newly elected president of the council. She is Kim Janey, who grew up in Roxbury, a graduate of the Boston and Reading Public Schools and Smith College. She worked in education advocacy for years before being elected to the council in 2017 from District 7. And Madam President, welcome. Thank you so much. Congratulations. Good to be here. Good to have you. So what did you think of Mayor Walsh's State of the City speech the other night? Last night. So uh, Yeah, we're taping well, on, on Thursday, on Wednesday right, this right. week. Uh, I, so I think uh, education, uh, transportation, housing are certainly the, the issues that are important to residents in the city of Boston. Certainly I hear about those issues and concerns from residents that I represent in District 7. Um, but I'm also interested in hearing more about how we close the wealth gap in Boston. I really am interested in hearing about an economic strategy that really lifts uh, people who have been left behind in terms of economic prosperity in Boston. So I'm interested in my term as council president working with my colleagues on the council as well as the mayor to um, lift people who have been left out of economic prosperity in Boston. And I would have liked to hear, have heard more of that. Can you be more specific? Give me one specific example of what you would have liked to well, hear yes, in address. Yes, I think um, we know we have an enormous wealth gap here yeah. uh, in the city of Boston. Um, too many people are left out of this economic boom, so there's uh, a lot of development happening in our city. A lot of corporations want to move to Boston and, and set up uh, their headquarters here, and that's a great thing. Boston is a wonderful, world-class city. But too many people in our neighborhoods, particularly poor communities of color, are left out of the economic prosperity. And so we have to create opportunities, whether it's by supporting small business owners, whether it's helping uh, families purchase their first home, whether it's our city contracts, whether it's construction jobs, we have to do more to ensure that there's shared prosperity in our city. Do the building trade unions do enough to be inclusive of uh, well, minority workers? I think we workers? can all do a better job. And so I've, um, I monitor construction jobs in my district. Mm -hmm. um, I you know, work with uh, anyone and everyone who wants to talk about shared prosperity. And I think we can all do a better job, including the unions. Well, you know, much of your background is spent in education, and that's certainly a focus of your agenda on the council. Now, with the mayor's speech the other night, both the city and the state have now announced major new spending on s city schools. What else do you think they should be doing? Is it, or is it just a matter of more money? No, I think we have to be very intentional uh, and really target who we're talking about when we talk about um, education. So there are huge opportunity and achievement gaps. We can say uh, we can just invest more money and the rising tide will lift all boats. I happen to believe that a rising tide uh, can be dangerous if you don't have a boat. So if you have a yacht, great, that rising tide is wonderful for you. But if you're on a life raft, that rising tide could take you under. And so we've got to do more to be really intentional about targeting the students in most need. And that's our English language learners, students with disabilities, um, black and brown children who uh, may not have the same out-of-school experiences that some of their peers have. We've got to do more to ensure that they have every opportunity to be successful. Well, on paper, that's the focus of the state spending initiative, specifically targeted to ESL and, and, and poorer communities. Are you satisfied with that? Yeah, or? I mean, so that money will come into the district, which is wonderful. Right. But even within the Boston School District, there are schools that have... Um, m more resources uh, because maybe they have parents who know how to fundraise um, and then there are other schools who do not so we even within even though that money is coming into the Boston School District we've got to make sure it's targeted all right let's take a quick break when we continue a little bit more about education and then another big issue facing the city these days transportation as we continue our conversation with the new Boston City Council President Kim Janey stay with us